In this picture, there are 40 people. None of them can be seen. In this film, we hope to show you how not to be seen. <laughs> this is Mr. E. R. Bradsaw of Naples Court, <laughs> Black Lion Road, South East 5. He cannot be seen. Now, I'm going to ask him to stand up. Mr. Bradsaw, will you stand up, please? This demonstrates the value of not being seen. <laughs> In this picture, we cannot see Mrs. B.J. Smegma of 13, the Crescent, Belmont. Mrs. Smegma, will you stand up, please? <laughs> this is Mr. Nesbitt of Harlow, Newtown. Mr. Nesbitt, will you stand up, please? Mr. Nesbitt has learnt the first lesson of not being seen, not to stand up. However, he has chosen a very obvious piece of cover. <laughs> Mr. E.B. Lambert of Home Lee, the borough's Oswestry, has presented us with a poser. We do not know which bush he is behind, but we can soon find out. the middle one. <laughs> Mr. Ken Andrews of Leighton Road Slough has concealed himself extremely well. He could be almost anywhere. He could be behind the wall, inside the water barrel, beneath a pile of leaves, up in the tree, squatting down behind the car, concealed in a hollow, or crouched behind any one of a hundred bushes. However, we happen to know he's in the water barrel. Mr. and Mrs. Watson of Ivy Cottage, Warpleston Road, Hull, chose a very cunning way of not being seen. When we called at their house, we found they had gone away on two weeks' holiday. They had not left any forwarding address, and they had bolted and barred the house to prevent us getting in. However, a neighbour told us where they were. <laughs> and here is the neighbour who told us where they were. <laughs> Nobody likes it, nobody. And this is where he lived. And this is where Lord Langdon lived, who refused to speak to us. And so did the gentleman who lived here, and here, and, of course, here. And uh, Manchester, and the US Midlands, Spain, China. Well, I'm afraid we have to stop the film there. Some of the scenes which followed were of a violent nature which might have proved distressing to some of our viewers. Though not to me, I can tell you.